today we're going to check out the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 APS-C lens on the Sony a7 IV, a full frame camera to see if it's any good for video. We're also going to compare it to the 17-28 to Tamron f2.8 to see about light gathering and bokeh. Let's go. What's up everybody? Phil with Photo Gear Fun here today. Got a first look at this Viltrox 13mm f1.4 lens, which is a crop lens on the Sony a7 IV. And I am in crop mode. I wanted to show you how it looks, what you can get for bokeh, the depth of field, the field of view, all that good stuff. So this is going to be, this clip will be half unstabilized. There's no image stabilization in the lens at all. The other half is going to be catalyst brows. And then we'll show with active steady shot, which is a, a bit of a crop here, but not as big a crop as in the ZVE-10, which I did a video on. I'll link that here. So you can, if you're interested in that, you can have a look. So I am at 1 3 20th on the shutter, just because I want to use catalyst brows and you need to keep that shutter speed up for catalyst brows. F1.4, it's a prime lens, so we're at 13 millimeters. Just walking, and what we'll do next is show you active steady shot. And I'm at the pond, you can probably hear the fountain. Pretty uneven ground here. And then we'll take you inside and I'll show you the difference in light gathering and bokeh between this and the full frame lens, the 17 to 28 from Tamron. So let's look at the active steady, active steady shot, easy for me to say, next. Okay, so this is active steady shot. There is a crop. You'll see a difference. I forget what it is on this camera. Maybe 15%, 20%, something like that. With the Catalyst Browse clip, I use 10%, and it seems to do a pretty good job. So you saw how Catalyst Browse does, which I think is superior to active steady shot. Active Steady Shot's not bad, and you don't have to worry about processing the files like you do with Catalyst Browse, which takes anywhere from three to five times the clip length to get those processed. It is a muggy, muggy day here in beautiful Durham, North Carolina. So again, the Active Steady Shot, 1 3 20th on the shutter, f1.4. Sound is coming from the Ceremonic Blink 500, which is my favorite wireless system by far. And I do very little audio processing, by the way, on this. Just a really great system in my mind. So here is active steady shot. What we'll do now is I'll take you inside. You get to see the photo gear fun layer. And we'll, I'll show you, give you a demonstration about the depth of field, bokeh, light gathering, all that good stuff. And then we'll come back out here and we'll wrap up this first look at the Viltrox 13 millimeter f1.4 lens on the Sony a7 IV. All right, so here we are with the Viltrox 13 millimeter f1.4 at 1.4 i've got active steady shot on so there is a crop but it should be equal check out the bokeh i'm at iso 500 here so again you can kind of see the bokeh as we go through but it's letting in a good amount of light at f1.4 and the crop factor really doesn't matter as far as light gathering goes f1.4 pretty much is f1.4 as far as light gathering goes. And then we can get an idea on the bokeh full frame f2.8, which is what the 17 to 28 will be. And then this is crop mode 13 millimeter f1.4. So there you go. Now let's check out the Tamron 17 to 28 at f2.8 in full frame mode. Okay. And here we are with the Tamron 17 to 28. I'm at 20 millimeters. This is f2.8, it's the max aperture. So let's go ahead and have a look. Check out the hat, and I'm at 1600 ISO here. So from 500 with the 1.4 to 1600. So the difference as far as the crop factor goes, you know, you're still letting in with 1.4, 1.4 amount of light versus 2.8. And you can see that with the ISO differences here. And this is in full frame mode, so this 17 to 28 is in full frame mode at f 2.8 in full frame. And again, check out the bokeh. We're at ISO 1600 again. So that's the difference. F 1.4 as far as light goes is f 1.4. And you can see the difference between the, and the bokeh between 1.4 crop mode and 2.8 full frame mode. All right, so I hope you found that video helpful. Probably not very entertaining, but hopefully helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like these types of video, please consider subscribing. 
Um, I produce these videos whenever I can. I don't really have any schedule, unfortunately. Work's been pretty busy lately, but I encourage you to get out there and have your photo gear fun, and I will talk at you again in the next video.